My name is Dr. Tracy Fanara. I'm an environmental engineer and research scientist at Moat Marine Laboratory in Sarasota, Florida. From the time I was five, I had Coke bottle glasses. So people just assumed that I was smart. There was this expectation of success with math and science. And so my parents bought right into that and they told me from a young age that I was bright and that I was good at science and good at math and that kind of motivated me so I entered my first science fair and I won in kindergarten and then I won again in first grade and in second grade I loved inventing creating things that never existed so I would say just the general public inspired me my favorite subject in high school was AP bio and it was my favorite subject because I was good at it. And the reason why I was good at it was because I was a really hard worker. I was no better than anybody else at general knack or skill for science and math. I was just a really hard worker. And so moving forward, that's something that I really took with me is the fact that hard work can get you through any obstacle. Now, I don't remember what I memorized, but I know that if I actually work hard to study something, I can retain that information and then apply it. My work is not a job or even a career, it's my life. I have a passion for making the world a better place for innovation, sustainability, and maintaining life as we know it for future generations. I did something a little bit different with my career. I am an environmental engineer, and typically they work in consulting or industry and, and sometimes research. For me, because I have a communication aspect as well as I'm running apps and new technology to alert the public of where Florida red tide blooms are and other water quality issues, in addition to doing actual research, every single day is different. I might be mentoring interns doing our hurricane simulation and then run off to a talk and then come back and work on a water treatment project. And then maybe even work on the new project that I have now, which is putting aquaponics or checking the feasibility of putting aquaponics in space. So my job is different every single day and it's super exciting and I love that, but there's literally never a dull moment and there's always work to do which drives the people around me crazy, but I really do love my job. What continues to inspire me most in my career is definitely kids and that mentorship, just seeing so much excitement. It just allows you to relive that excitement for what you do on a regular basis. And then in addition, the art of discovery, finding something or solving a problem that has never been solved before. Just, just being the first one to get there and say, I can make your life better and this is why.